Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our corporate success community, Silver Star Hall of Fame interview series. And I'm super, super excited to have yet another superstar here of our community. And we have Suma Sridhar with us. So just to give you a quick gist of what this interview series is all about. So we have this community, corporate success community, wherein we have achievers like Suma, and uh, we have multiple recognition levels. And when an individual is able to qualify all those recognitions level, that's when they end up becoming a silver star, which means this journey is not easy, which means that just this journey requires a lot of focus, a lot of dedication, a lot of time management, and making sure that you are involved in that process and you are committed mentally, emotionally, and personally when it comes to your self-development and progress. And that's the reason I'm really humbled to have Suma in our community. Thank you very much, Suma. And before, Thank you so much. <laughs> before I, I go to Suma, I'd like to give a quick introduction about her so that you are able to connect and resonate with her. Suma Sridhar is from Bangalore, and she's a life transformation coach. She's a soft skill trainer. And she's also an author of this amazing book called Breaking the Shackles. You should check it out, Breaking the Shackles. And uh, she has 20 years of teaching experience, two decades. That's that's amazing. <laughs> so, Suma, welcome to this, this interview series. And thank you very much for being who you are. Thank you very much for doing what you're doing. Thank you very much for spreading the light. And I'm so very proud of you that you have achieved this title of Silver Star. First of all, I would like to uh, give gratitude and uh, all whoever has supporting me in all over uh, my journey. Thank you so much, Alok, for this wonderful opportunity. And I am super, super excited to uh, have uh, the conversation with you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Suma. Um, just to begin this conversation, I'd like to understand, Suma, um, you are a coach, you are a trainer, you are a lighthouse, you are guiding so many people out there. To begin with, what, what pushed you or what inspired you or what made you be a part of this community? I, I'm, I'm, I'm curious about that. Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, actually, everything started uh, from 2020 and 21 during the pandemic uh, time where I was uh, going through a lot of anxiety issues, almost uh, you can think around uh, 30 years. And I was not aware of this factor. It was uh, showing in different ways and in my behavior and in my lifestyle, in my personal and professional life. And I was not aware of uh, this factor actually. So then uh, everything just started to turn uh, towards the progress and I started to invest in time in myself. And that's where I came to know there are a lot of triggers within myself. So due to personal challenges, due to my upbringing and a lot of other factors like mental chatter. So that's what I came to know. And I was looking for the solution, actually. So I got some solution through other uh, successful people as well. But I was especially looking for this. How can I be mindful? <laughs> that is where the first step of success for anyone is to be aware what they are going through action. So that's where uh, it started and uh, your uh, ad came up uh, and I just uh, mm. clicked on that and everything started to change. Lovely, lovely, lovely. You know, I'm I'm really impressed. Uh, Suma, the thing is, when after talking to so many people, I come across this realization that many people out there, they are not even aware that they are under this, you know, confusion, the layers of self-doubt. And there is some kind of inner work which is required. There are so many people and who have been living in the same cycle of self-doubt, guilt, regret, stress, anxiety. And there are only few people who are number one, they are able to be aware that yes, <laughs> there is something that needs to be done. And number two, they take an action towards it. And if I, if I have to give a percentage to it, then a research says that it is somewhere around four to five percent, and you are one of them, Suma. So thank you so much, so, and so, I would like awesome. to uh, uplift others also as well because they are not for that actually. Yes. Everyone are not born for less. They yes. are they yes. are um, uh, here for a greater purpose. 
that's yes. where uh, we come into picture to help them yes 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 and <laughs> and i can see that i can see that in you the initiatives in fact you have written a book that's super inspiring suma so if i have to ask you that how or what kind of transformation have you experienced you know being in this community following certain patterns or following certain activities or the courses or the kind of community interaction that we have um if i have to ask you to quantify those transformations so that people out there who are watching this interview people out there who are watching you can be inspired by your journey and can know that yes this is possible because many a times so you know you being a trainer and coach you would agree to it that many a times we give up we yeah. give up saying that abhi to kuch nahi ho sakta you know nothing can be done right i'm yeah. i'm so much deep down in that dark hole nothing can be done and life looks impossible so please share your breakthroughs so that people who are going through similar challenges that you were experiencing once upon a time they can resonate and even they can be inspired by your journey yeah definitely so what happened was uh, during this uh, transformation journey i would say the mm. personal development journey um i had lot of uh, financial challenges mm. like up to the core that uh, even in between i thought okay i should leave this and go back to my normal profession like as usual i have uh, i have been teaching and i have to go back to that 9 to 5 i won't say that it is not a, a good journey but still i wanted to impact in different ways so that was not possible unless i understand myself completely so this lack of awareness helped me out having more clarity and building my resilience that is most important like everybody who are around me won't believe that whatever i am doing it's not it's not uh, <laughs> actually uh, no very difficult to sustain everything all the emotional challenges and uh, everything but you need to believe in yourself first you are going to make it happen that is what the most uh, uh, will power which i have built myself if no one else believes that's no problem it's their up expectation or their validation it's not uh, i am not there to validate their uh, you know the preconceived notions or whatever may be i am here to focus on my goal so make it happen whatever may be it it's not easy the journey is not easy because everyone would have achieved so fast otherwise <laughs> yes and i can so journey, yeah the journey is so hard that sometimes even i i i cried a lot alone shutting the door no one was there because the emotional baggage you can't control sometimes it's it's good to cry yes. it's not that you should not cry you should let it out the yes. whatever stress or anxiety or sometimes you may feel you need to let out sometimes even i felt i should leave this and go back no to i should leave everything family and everything i should go back <laughs> sometimes even i felt but i didn't give up no it's okay it's not very you uh, know uh, like i'm not in a hurry to do everything no let me take a break let me pass myself mm -hmm. and give some more time for myself understand better what i am going to give or what i am going to build now mm -hmm. so understand your triggers first understand mm -hmm. your problems the root cause what is mm. it causing you and try to give some time for yourself understand what is that is uh, going to trigger me and how can i be better now mm. only focus on that moment how do you come out of that situation mm. Mm. only when you focus on that step it won't uh, no cause the intensity so much mm. Mm. so That's... you may feel little bit relaxed okay i can do it some yes. uh, possibilities will open up only when you make up your mind uh, with a relaxed and calm mind as you uh, have given lot of uh, breath work practices yeah 60 yes. seconds breath work is amazing really amazing yes 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 <laughs> just go out and uh, step out from your place see in reality it is so difficult to accept the fact and go through the challenges you have to make it happen because nobody will push you until how much uh, possible step mm. they can push you but mm. unless you push yourself nothing can change Yes. You have to live the same life if you wanted to uh, yeah. live in the same way without mental peace, calm and serenity and you wanted to uplift others so you will have that uh, no the satisfaction the fulfillment yes. within yourself. <laughs> so that uh, that's what I would like to say is believe in yourself see what is uh, triggering you the mm. awareness is the first step. 
yes. and see what i can do better that is the most important thing which i uh, started to work on myself okay where i am lagging behind and how can i fix it now how can i move forward one step Fantastic. that is where uh, you will get more confidence within yourself and be a lifelong learner uh, be a <laughs> lifelong learner you don't say you finished your graduation that's it you are settled down in job that's it no it's not like that it's always you have to learn from different people always i am uh, just learning from all even a child can teach so many things for us yes. so be humble be down to earth be grounded just you just you are a person that's it normal person you're not <laughs> any yes. any celebrity or uh, whatever may be yes. you are first a human so try to be yourself first then mm. become okay. that personality then you will see that the paradigm shift the results will show up everything will come align but you need to be very patient for that that's and what yes. i learned from my journey and all the good practices of mindfulness Fantastic. thank you so much <laughs> fantastic so much you know what i'll tell you something while you were narrating this i was able to resonate with your journey and at so many points especially you know when you said that uh, we need to believe in ourselves right when you start believing in yourself the world starts believing in you right and uh, and yes i do agree that this journey of self transformation is not easy it's not easy and that's the reason there are people who are in their comfort zone even they know that this comfort zone is not comfortable <laughs> but still <laughs> they are there because they know that if i step out of it that that will be super uncomfortable so they are there it's called as you know uh, i read about this um it's called as uh, learned helplessness i'm i'm sure you must have heard about it it's learned helplessness when you when you start doubting yourself and then you give up and you're like okay this is how it is i'll not be able to do it and yes i agree to what you said that there would be a lot of challenges there would be a lot of barriers people will try to pull you down they'll try to make fun of you they'll mock you uh, they'll try to uh, you know <laughs> make you believe that you are not made for this enough, it's, actually it's a, enough, yes you're, you're not, not worthy enough. and you what is this you are doing like what is that you are going to achieve if you are not giving time to family family matters a lot yes yes See, sometimes you need to do some sacrifices uh, for your own like growth and uh, right now they can't see that result because mm. initial stages nobody yes. will believe you yes. unless you build that you know the stable long term uh, uh, recurring whatever yes. the result yes. so initially it would uh, it is very hard maybe from 5 years now i would see myself uh impacting some 1 lakh uh, women and yes. men yes. working professionals who are in this mental barriers and uh, they wanted to come out of that and do something for their growth personal and professional growth so, so uh, if, I, if i have to ask you if i i'm sorry to to cut you here but there is an important question that just crossed my mind and i thought let me ask you this do you think personally that uh, you know when when we compare man and woman right now of course we are talking about lot of equality we are talking about shoulder to shoulder there's lot of stuff that is going on that 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 narrative when we say that okay you know things are changing the world is changing but when i talk to lot of people on the ground level the ground reality is not what is been portrayed absolutely you see people going through the same challenges in the house when you go you see the same kind of debates and same kind of sacrifices which is still happening maybe yes. there is some level of change uh, on the uh, on the very surface level but deep down there when we talk about the patriarchy it is still yes. there right yes, so absolutely. i want to know your perspective in two parts okay because you are a professional you are a coach you have taken up your mission in two parts so that there are many women out there who would be watching this interview who would and i want them to get inspired from you okay so the first part of the question is how do you see this you know in terms of the uh, uh, the kind of uh, it's not equal for both right and the world doesn't treat it equal and the second thing is how did you come out of this so actually there are lot of uh, parameters here we would like i would like to address here is one is see from the beginning the traditional way of uh, respecting a man is completely different 
because we have been brought up in the indian system like we need to know uh, always we need to bow down to men whatever they mm. say we need to obey and some kind of thing so it is not uh, like we are not actually you know uh, arguing or debating here the fact is both of us has to understand mutually what is our purpose mm. so should be aligned towards the same goal common goal so then you should explain what you are going to do go, doing actually and what it can bring the results for both of us and for the well being of the entire family and when you are able to explain they will definitely support you most of the maybe some 60 to 50 percent may change but we need to educate we need to create lot of awareness about mm. this and see it's not about the men or women it's mm. about the person who you are yes. what values you are aligned with what you can share with them so it's a journey marriage is just not the you no know, physical intimacy mm. or whatever the relation we have right so it is completely understanding each other values respecting mm. each other beliefs and whatever you no know, the character and everything it takes the personal goals professional goals so when we are aligned with this i think little bit uh, it can reduce the the other uh, factors what uh, we are seeing in the world that is one thing yes and another uh, important thing is um, which uh, i came out if uh, out of that is i came i explained practically what is exactly it is like the superstitious beliefs and the actual factor practically speaking it is completely the different uh, levels we have there are lot of uh, insights in that so if you see surface level it may look in that way but or it may appear in that way but when we see practically it is not actually the true mm. so i started to look at that angle like practically it is not correct psychologically how it is based on the facts and data mm. so that's where uh, some of the factors are uh, Uh, easily understandable and we can give a proper results or proper uh, validation for it. Mm. so in that so, way i was able to come out of that yeah so 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 if i if i have to ask you that for example let's say there is there is a there is a aspiring professional who is watching this interview but she is experiencing lot of social drama she is experiencing lot of domestic drama because of which she is not able to pursue her dreams and she feels as if you know i have to just keep myself shut i have to just keep on sulking inside i want to do so many things but i'm not getting the kind of support in my family and you are someone who is already pursuing your dreams what are the top two advices you would like to give her so first thing is there are only two options i would say in my understanding mm. is first is accept the fact that what is going on and see what you can do better mm. in that situation also there are possibilities where you can change some of the lifestyle some adjustments can be done mm. or ask for a guide mm. it is a very important thing some, suppose if you are not able to manage yourself or not able to find the solution so you are like in the step like you are giving up no wait for a moment ask for the help go mm. to a ma- mentor or guide like you mm. like <laughs> whoever helping you like mm. whoever helps in that uh, manner ask for help def- definitely so you have two or three choices that's all one is believe in yourself see what possible uh, way you can adjust and make that dream not to go out of mm. the uh, stack yes. okay another option is if you can't sustain or it is suffocating so much it's not good to be there mm. so you need to sign up sometimes it is uh, you need to take some crucial decision yes because uh, because it is not uh, for both of them right it is not mm. uh, giving good results either for her or for the family or yes. for anybody else mm. so there are only these choices are available one is see what you can do best ask for the help guide or a mentor go mm. and uh, get some counseling done counseling is a normal thing now yes. <laughs> it's not <laughs> like earlier days we used to 
think that counseling is somebody only when they have lot of uh, other issues then only they should go for yes. counseling no it's a it's a normal uh, way of understanding the emotions yes so it's first task is you need to understand what you are going through whether you are able to manage if not go for a mentor or a guide take mm. the help from someone so, see that whether you can set right mm. last option is if it is too much suffocating you have tried all these without trying don't go for the last one <laughs> <laughs> yes yes see, sometimes it happens that uh, for everyone it's natural human tendency that sometimes we feel it's not my place i have to go and go out and do but practically it is not easy mm. alone women have have lot of challenges see once you step out of the house uh, people and around you the family members everybody starts to you know narrate mm. different stories even though you are not at fault mm i get it mm. you're not at fault actually the other person is at fault but nobody believes that yeah. <laughs> in our it. system it's it's we and, can't blame and it becomes very also. difficult yeah. very it difficult it's very difficult to put your point very out difficult. yes yes mm. alone it's uh, quite difficult but it is not that difficult if you have made up your mind and have a basic plan how i should go about it fantastic if it is too much suffocating please uh, take a call after going what is that going to give you and the satisfaction or what level you want to build your dream mm. everything is present in why yeah <laughs> yes knowing the reason the famous uh, famous quote which i was listening from uh, gor gobal das just day before yesterday fantastic uh, speech he was giving uh, the monk okay so yeah. he said uh, there are two important days in our life mm. one is the day when we are born mm. on earth second is the day when you understood your why yeah why a, why you're born and mind blowing <laughs> mind blowing <laughs> yes yes so, you know suma i i had i had heard i came across this quote which says that if your why doesn't make you cry you will not do anything in life <laughs> absolutely lot of yes. uh, that mm. why should make in death like uh, we should go to that uh, under undercover billionaire uh, he is ready to even go and uh, no wash all the washrooms yes. restrooms yes, yes. for the survival it's yes. it's not <laughs> it's yes. okay but never give up your dream sure. never give up whatever sure. may be the situation critical uh, challenges but never give up on yourself yes you can make some critical adjustments if yes. required but never give absolutely. up absolutely never yes. give up see Lovely. few things we need to understand see for example household work is not allowing me to do fix it mm. hire someone don't don't uh, see that see you have so much mental energy and physical energy don't invest in small things <laughs> yes. get it like get it. <laughs> yes fix your priorities you utilize that yeah. you utilize that energy for your greater 10x actions Ah, activity yes invest in some money hire someone if possible if not make some priority task adjustments in your life make a sli- like ready for everything ready mm-hmm. to do it anything for the matter that you have to just do it that's it don't yeah. expect any results just do it do your action do your duty the results will come god will be like Uh, the almighty yes. will have a count what you are doing yes yes every small action has a return but you don't know now you will not be able to understand or realize that now fantastic <laughs> i think suma that was so very so very uh, important and you gave like step by step thing so i'm sure all the women out there who are wanting to you know who are wanting to bring out their power to the world but maybe they are just stopping themselves because of xyz reason uh maybe this advice that you just gave would really help them number one is first understand what you want to do number two is understand why you want to do it number three is never give up believe in yourself you can make those small tweaks and adjustments if required but never give up and uh number four is make sure you align certain things and keep on doing it every single day consistency is the key and you will get the results fantastic suma thank you very much for that uh I'd, I'd like to yes. I'd like to come back to uh, you know some of the community related transformations that you would like to talk about in nutshell 
in terms of you know in the in the community there are a lot of courses that that we have just you know put out there so if i have to if i have to ask you that practically are there any processes on the top of your mind that really helped you to see some kind of positive movements and why because that yes, why is important absolutely. why <laughs> yes yes so i would like to quote uh, the excellent blueprint which you have given in strategic mm. uh, mindfulness blueprint yeah. first is the awareness leads to clarity uh-huh. <laughs> clarity leads to confidence so the confidence helps you to take actions actions brings results this is an excellent framework which i found very very insightful because the uh, time when you get clarity it is uh, you are able to understand analyze some factors so where you are heading otherwise it becomes headless chicken i loved it i loved that phrase you have given there <laughs> yes yes otherwise yes. we will be like heading every day going to office doing the same routine and uh, at the end of the day we are not giving any like what did i do today yes. did i make someone smile did i make someone like be happy or something productive so i earlier i used to watch some of the web series which is actually non productive for me especially <laughs> after my school hours i used to spend lot of time in that then i never realized i can convert this whatever knowledge i have into some skill and into some results but only uh, the 2021 the breakthrough which happened really <laughs> mm. should thank my mentors and whoever you know the person who told me yeah. this is not going to sustain for long term yes mm. many people out here please uh, pay attention here that whatever you are going through you may think that okay at the surface level you can run the show for a long time no it's not uh, you are not able to mentally no handle that situation for a long time mm. so i at least the first step should be you should be mindful at least be aware of that what you are going through and then it gives clarity okay this is what i am going through yes how can i be better what is that trigger the most of the day mm. and how can i do the next step one step ahead mm. and uh, 60 seconds command uh, peaceful meditation yes. practice <laughs> uh, breath yes. work and yeah. some mindful yoga which ah. i practice every day mindful okay. yoga is a amazing uh, tool yes yes and i was not able to understand earlier the psychological reasons behind it what triggers mm. uh, stress the amygdala the yes. the hormones <laughs> yes yes <laughs> the serotonin yes. see if you understand psychologically you will pay more attention actually mm. the yes. facts why it is what is happening why it is happening if we come to know then yes. it is easy for us to correlate and yes. start practicing the good habits and morning ritual practicing gratitude powerful tool which changed my life is gratitude ah yes yes every yes. single day now and then when i walk in home this is i am requesting all the viewers kindly do this practice for mm. just 15 seconds every day why you should be grateful mm. for whatever you have yes great this, fantastic this opened up my mind like anything like i was into lot of negativity earlier always doubting myself my abilities always comparing myself with my you know other fellow mates or whoever i am not worthy enough so because it became a habit for me like earlier uh, past baggages what i had so it's a very critical uh, past baggages i had uh, which is very personal and i was not able to Yes. Uh, break that barrier mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. my mind was completely blocked in all those mm-hmm. and i was not knowing what is that blocking so then this uh, opened up mm-hmm. and i was able to declutter my mind by this best practice fantastic knowing the After triggers yeah yes yes that's important and and i realized that you mentioned about triggers multiple times and that itself shows that you know how important it is to be aware number one what is bothering you to be aware maybe what is the source of this emotional uneasiness and number 3 then you see what you can do about it yes so thank you suma thank you very much for that and so, i suma- was able to focus more from these very good practices which you have given yes. and it helped me a lot and uh, and i was looking for a structured way actually yeah. structured process mm-hmm. see we know certain factors which you have given already but there is a structure there is a process to do anything there is a technique 
yeah so the emotional intelligence techniques so many techniques you have given yes. where i do practice every day everything i you know practice at least 15 minutes 20 minutes 20. and i uh, do morning this morning ritual which helped me a lot to yes. to focus more to focus only on the good things to yes. take action continuously without any excuses whatever best i can do it fantastic fantastic there is no other uh, uh there is no shortcut to success i understood uh, very <laughs> clearly yes yes, so yes you may get some success uh, like maybe it is temporary but if you want to uh, bring long lasting impression mm. when you go away people should remember you okay they mm. have given so much at least for the uh, people should feel that satisfaction yes. okay the person who lived has no given yes. like we remember aristotle then albert einstein yes, and yes. our They'll abdul have the kalam legacy. apj yeah. <laughs> abdul kalam <laughs> yes yes it's yes it's not for somebody else but it is for you first then you impact on others you start yes. uplifting others fantastic fantastic so so inspiring so much so inspiring thank you very much and i can see i mean you have a long way ahead <laughs> you have a long way ahead <laughs> and uh, you 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 are an inspiration so suma uh, thank you very much for for helping uh, all our viewers and everyone who's going to watch this with your nuggets uh, before we end this uh, interview um i just like to ask you this one single question that if you have to share couple of life lessons with the viewers something that you hold close to your heart and uh, for example let's say if you have only 2 minutes left with you and you have to give out a very important message to the world what would that be one is life is a journey actually <laughs> you should enjoy the journey at the fullest and life lessons which i have learned is be authentic to yourself first be true to yourself when nobody is watching you <laughs> you know i i really i really love this uh, i really love this quote by tony robbins he says that uh, people get awarded in public for what they do in private <laughs> yes <laughs> so what do you do with yourself thank you yes yes continue yes, yes. and uh, do without expecting serve others the most 100% just serve others have a uh, build a serving attitude build your personal excellence mm. 80% personal excellence 20% other skills yes will really help you see physically mentally emotionally spiritually we need to grow ourselves like you have to be that person yes so then automatically everything will automatically align into that uh, channel once you start working on yourself Fantastic. so be true to yourself no matter like uh, someone for somebody else don't do anything be true to what you are doing authenticity yes authenticity yes, yes. honesty be, being self being yourself see that okay this is you this is your reality both in online and offline mode yeah exactly <laughs> when exactly. people will see you also the same way you behave when they won't see you also the same way you behave. that is what the most important uh, life lesson which i have changed a lot like uh, people uh, only few people can understand because uh, i was not very close to all <laughs> like mm. initially so they see a lot of uh, transformation and all that yeah i i i still i, I need to improve a lot <laughs> uh, we we are in work, we are work in progress so <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you can never say that we are done yes, yes. so to the last breath we are work in progress and uh, i i can't uh, agree more on that when you say that be be yourself and be true to yourself be the same person when the camera is on and be the same person when the camera is off yeah. right and so i'll tell you something you know um, this is what i've realized that one of the main reasons of stress one of the main reasons of internal chaos and uh, that anxiety and lot of emotional uneasiness is that when people try to maintain two personalities you know there is a facade and then there is himself or herself the real the real self and then internally they are wanting to do something else but externally they end up doing so many other things which they are not happy with but they are just doing it to gain that external validation or make others happy out there and that leads to a lot of friction because there is a gap between who you really are and who you are trying to be and that's what you nailed it 
right you know that's what we need to focus on be your authentic self period <laughs> <laughs> and uh, create something for everyone like mm-hmm. uplift someone the, the candle light when it gives light oh, it no. can show uh, yes. light up other you know souls yes be a candle <laughs> it's yeah. not for be a candle yeah. be a candle <laughs> love it and also i would love the quote uh, napoleon hill whatever your mind can conceive and believe it can, it can achieve actually yes. you have a beautiful powerful asset within yourself Definitely. only you need to know how to channelize mm. how to push it to the maximum to take the complete benefit of it <laughs> <laughs> you have awesome. uh, two faces the conscious and subconscious uh, i was reading a book uh, miracles of the mind just mm. day before yesterday i was amazed uh, the narration there the subjective and the uh, uh, objective mind mm. objective mind always sees the validation external yes surface <laughs> it won't mm. so you have to be the captain the mm. objective mind is the captain and whatever you give the command it follows the subconscious mind yes. will follow Yes. So be aware what you are giving every day, what you are feeding every day. Yes, It's important. We give service to the vehicle and everything, but we forget to take care of this beautiful mind. What <laughs> we have here, yes, <laughs> right? yes. Every yes. day you need to nourish it, take care, put so the extreme good quality of seeds. Mm. So you will get a greater fruits later. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Fantastic. So see Suman. the bamboo. it initially it won't give the it won't grow so much height right mm. so the person is seeing every day what is this it's not growing five years no after six year it is going to it shoots up, up to yeah. the greater height <laughs> and this <laughs> is one of the uh, best analogies suma when it comes to self development and growth uh, because you know when you start your journey on this self development path you keep on investing keep on investing in yourself you put on put in put in put in put in and then you see no nothing is moving right but never give up and 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 the sad part is that lot of people they give up in the initial phase itself they never see that that uh, you know seeds sprouting or that thing coming out so yes thank you for sharing that so the reason behind that uh, i would give one simple example see the building construction who takes so much time for laying the first foundation right <laughs> depth they should uh, have to dig so much uh, level of uh, depth so it's like that or we need to understand bridge the foundation mm. a very strong foundation mm. like it should not you cannot be shaken by a, even a small <laughs> layer of the glitch also like yes. that much you need to build your uh, mental stability so that it helps you to sustain See these practices. You may think that okay, within one day, what can happen? No, yes. it's not like that. Actually, since I have been practicing from two years, I am able to sustain the mm-hmm. emotional challenges, the mm-hmm. mental blocks, whatever it comes in between when we are in this journey. I am able to sustain because of that practice. Yes. Mm-hmm. So you need to understand the level. Like every day, you have to take care. Like every day, what. we do other work like eating sleeping just like brushing so your teeth also yeah. yes this is yeah. also one activity yeah. so in mm-hmm. that way you need to constantly progress to lovely suma thank you <laughs> thank very you much so much so very inspiring so very inspiring i would like sure. to just yeah. uh, show my book <laughs> yes <laughs> yes happy to <laughs> lovely uh, ladies and gentlemen that's the book yeah. that you need to check out that's breaking the shackles so suma is this available on uh, amazon Yes, yes. It is number one uh, Amazon selling uh, oh, author lovely. book. Lovely, lovely. You yeah, deserve thank you this. so much. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Fantastic. So, so still, so I'm planning to write one more book on based on the life principles. Ah. Uh-huh. Uh, before uh, being different personality, first being a human is the most toughest mm-hmm. and difficult yes. <laughs> task and uh, the challenge actually. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so that's what uh, where I'm focusing to write one more book. But I need lot of uh, um, other uh, important knowledge for that. So yeah. where I'm planning to go for ten uh, days, we pass an hour, something like that. Ah, oh, fantastic! That's nice. that's that's your inner dive. <laughs> yeah, inner engineering like uh, yes. Sadhguru has so lovely, many. Lovely, lovely. You should. Courses. Be. So yes. yes, yeah. Fantastic. That's where I think I can nail it better. 
Yes, of course. Deeper. Of course. Of course. <laughs> the deeper you go, the better will be the outcome. Uh, no doubt about that. <laughs> Fantastic, Suma. So, so, so nice, so wonderful to have you here and so wonderful to have you as a part of the corporate success community. And thank you uh, so much. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for your presence. And I just look forward that you keep on uh, shining brighter and keep on adding value to all other community members and people out there. Yes. So, Definitely. ladies and gentlemen, that was uh, Suma Sridhar for you. And uh, really very proud to have her as a part of the community. And uh, in the next episode, we'll have another silver star with us. Till then, stay tuned. God bless you and make sure that everything that you learned from Suma today from this particular conversation, you start putting that into practice. God bless you. Thank you. Bye.